these masks one day will be over. But he has taught us a lot. Hallelujah. How we can do good deeds of the redeemed. The greatest teacher of all time. Our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Always is our model on how we can pray. On how we can serve. How we can forgive. Everything, the pattern of our walk with God was demonstrated by Jesus Christ. And it's very important to understand what has Christ said about serving. I can come and teach. Somebody can come and preach. A prophet can come and prophesy. We can make our own assumptions and uh, conclusions. You can doubt what I preach. You can question on, on the belief system of some people. But one thing you can never deny is every word that proceeded out of mouth of God and every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Jesus Christ. Because the word of God is undeniable it is unquestionable. You never dilute or change what proceeded out of the mouth of God. I can interpret the word of God the way I want. Somebody can come and twist the word of God. But that will never change what God has said. And therefore I submit to the word of God this morning. We submit to the teaching of Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ is the only example that I can relate to and ask and inquire how should I pray? Teach us me how to pray. Teach us how I can forgive. Teach how I can pray for my enemies. Teach me how I can share your word. It's not about techniques and methods. The moment we are trapped in techniques and methods, we lose the original understanding of what God wanted to say. So, how can we serve God effectively? How can I serve God when I'm complete? How can I serve God willingly? How can I do it? How can I glorify God in my service to God? As I said, men and women of God that we can relate to, we always relate to the Bible and the heroes of faith. Some of them did what they can and they failed. It's always good to identify yourself with the men and women of God. To know if they conquered, if they overcame, I can overcome. But it's very important to go deep in the word of God to see what Jesus said. When Jesus said, what did Jesus say about serving God? Why did Jesus Christ say I should act? 
what should be my attitude in in serving god esu mwifato wanje ugomba kuba uwuhe mu gihe nkorera imana in joseph in matthew chapter 20 verse 20 Muri Matayo igice cya 20 guhera ku murongo wa 20 up to 28 kugera ku murongo wa 28 this is the word of god iri ni jambo ry'imana the mother of the sons of zebedee came to him with her sons maze nyina wa bene zebedeyo azana n'abana be aho ari they in kneeling before him Aramupfukamira he asked him for something ngo agire icyo amusaba very interesting Whoever came to Jesus umuntu wese wasaga kuri Yesu they had specific needs yabaga afite ikintu akeneye cy'umwihariko to the sick to the sick kubarwaye he would they would come and say i want to be well barasaga bakavuga ngo turashaka gukira to the lepers I want to be healed. To the broken hearted. I want to be made whole. Those with no hope. I want to be hope. I want something from Jesus. Very interesting. This mother came with a specific need. Before that it was not exposed. Ariko mbere ntago byari byaragaragajwe. But it was exposed. Ariko byaragaragajwe. When it came out of the mouth of her mouth. Ibyo byari bisohotse mu kanwa ke. You will never know who you are. Ntabwo uzigera umenya uwo uri we. Until you open your mouth and declare your very need. Ibyo uretse ibyo uzafungura kanwa kawe ukavuga ibyo ukeneye. You are who you are by the expression of your statements. Uru uri we mu gihe ugaragaza ibituruka muri wowe. The Bible says as a man he is so is he. As a man thinks. Ijambo rya Imana avuga uko umuntu atekereza. And the Bible says out of the fullness and the balance of the words that are filled in the heart of man so they speak. Kandi byuzuye umutima w'umuntu nibyo avuga hanze. So what fills your heart? Rero ibyuzuye umutima wawe. What fills your mind? Ibyuzuye imitekerezo yawe. Is what you are. Nibyo ribyo. This is a woman who came to Jesus. She was open to express a statement. Very important that when we come to God. We must not only come in his presence. Ntabwo tugomba kuza gusa mu kubaho kwayo. But express a statement. Ariko tugomba no gusobanura neza. When you state a statement, iyo usobanuye neza icyo ushaka. Then it to reveal the intent of your heart. Bizerekana rero ikiri cyagusunitse mu mutima. Every test of attitude and emotions and thinking is always tested when it comes out of our mouth umwifato wose namaranga mutima byose bisuzu mweyo bisohotse mu kanwa kacu so she said nuko aravuga ati anyway what you have this morning ese ufite iki muri iki gitondo and she he said to her nawe aramu aramubaza ati what do you want urashaka iki From all these months we've been hearing serving God. Tumaze amezi menshi twumva kugukorera imana. What do you want? Ese urashaka iki? What do you want to serve? Kubera iki ushaka gukora? Jesus said, "What do you want from me?" Yesu aravuga ati, "Uranshaka ho iki?" Very interesting she said. Niki nitangaje icyo yavuze. Say that these two sons of mine are to sit one at your right hand and one at your left into your kingdom. Aramusubiza ati tegeka ko aba bana banje bombi bazicara mu bwami bwawe umwe iburyo bwawe undi ibumoso This woman this mother 
uyu mugore she was moved yasunitswe by what jesus was doing nibyo yesu yakoraga maybe she walked with his the sons birashoboka yuko yakoranye nabahungu be maybe the sons told the mother birashoboka ko abahungu be bamubwiye bati mother's relationship with the sons are so deep imibanire yabana na mama wabo ibayimbitse maybe they had the news and the miracles birashoboka ko bumvishije amakuru nibitangaza and he said mama baravuga bati mama we saw jesus kwabonye yesu casting out demons yirukana ama daimoni jesus is mighty kandi yesu afite imbaraga please we know turakwinyinza turabizi Tell him mubwire Those are my statement and my thinking Ibi nibyo nge mvuga nibyo ntekereza Please turakwinginze Maybe the mother had connection with Jesus Birashoboka ko mama wa haraho yaraziranye na Maybe they had walked the path of preaching engagements Birashoboka yuko wenda babwirije hamwe Please ati ndakwinginze We want to serve like him turashaka gukora nkawe not only here atari hano gusa but also in the kingdom ndetse no mubwami please tell him avuga ngo turakwinginze umubwire please tell him turakwinginze ngo umubwire we want to be in the position of serving turashaka kuba mu mwanya wo gukora We want to move to another life of service. Turashaka kugira ku rundi rwego rwo gukora. We want to be promoted. Tell him. Turashaka kuzamurwa mu ntera mubwire. The mother was moved. Eh uwo mugore hari cyamusunitse. The sons were moved. Nabahungu be hari cyabasunitse by self promotion basunitswe no kwishyira hejuru we want to serve but it rashaka gukora but the only sign to show ourselves to serve god is when we are promoted in a position ariko kugira ngo tubashe gukorera imana nuko tuzamurwa mu ntera tukagira umwanya dushyirwamo Many times akenshi we are driven by position dusunikwa n'imyanya dushaka kujyamo What do you want urashaka iki Oh Jesus Yesu I want to serve ndashaka gukora but I want please ariko ndakwinginze icyo nshaka Elevate me Nzamura mu ntera I am tired ndananiwe of staying kuguma in this place muri uyu mwanya in this area aha hantu for long time igihe kirekire please ndakwinginze Jesus Yesu promote me nzamura mu ntera please ndakwinginze as we shall see please nkuko tuza kubireba others abandi are recognized abandi babaha gaciro please ndakwinginze i need a promotion nyeneye kuzamurwa mu ntera and many people are moved by pride into service kandi abenshi basunikwa no kwishyira hejuru kwango bakora imirimo self promotion kwizamura mu ntera thinking highly of you whom you are not kwishyira hejuru birenze uriwe please ndakwinginze promote me nzamura mu ntera the other day somebody said are you are you a preacher i said are you still preaching yes ari umuntu zose guhura nambira ngo se uracyari umuvuga butumwa uracyabwiriza when are you becoming a pastor of a local church when are you starting a church arambwiye atse ni ryari uzaba pastor ugashire ugashinga itorero when are you becoming a bishop Ese ni ryari uzaba bishop? Oh, oh we have become an archbishop. Cyangwa se ukaba archbishop. Because we know you've been in his service for a long time. Kuko turabizi uyu murimo ubumaze mu gihe. They were saying, when are you promoting yourself? When is God 
promoting you. When you are doing the deeds of God. What moves your heart for service? And when there is self promotion, it develops in you the heart of Lucifer. I want to be. And when you position yourself in self-promotion by people, by yourself, something grips your heart. Fear. Fear of maintenance. You want to maintain your position. Because you promoted yourself and therefore you are trying to secure your position. And everything centers about you, around you. What do they think? How do they think about me? Everything is mine, 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 mine. Self promotion. And when pride gets into your life, Everything surrounds you. Everything rotates around you. And when you are in the midst of a team around you, everything you try to put everything around yourself. Jesus said, Yes, you are what do you want? The mother said, promotion. What do you do? What do you want for God? I want to serve. Why do you serve? I want to be promoted. I've stayed in this place for so long. At least, Lord. Nibuka. Remember me. Remember me. Nibuka. Remember Joseph. Ibuka Joseph. Remember Joseph Ibuka in the Joseph. prison. Ijihe yari muri gereza. God said Joseph. Uite karavuze ngo Joseph. God gives him the vision of 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 the the times of his life. No no ho imani mwereka he should go to his He moves around. And in fact, he was circumspecting around when God was with him. Whatever he did prospered. And then he found himself in the prison. And he says to this prisoner, Please remember me. When you get out, Remember me. Please remember me. To get out of this place. Self promotion. And the Bible says. The man forgot. He forgot Joseph. So that God may test his life. To know that it's not about position. When time came to serve, when God had tested the intent of his heart, God was saying it's not about position, it's not about promoting yourself, it is about serving. Very interesting, Jesus Christ asked this very important 
questions to those that aspire for service. Biratangaje uburyo Yesu yabashije ibazo by'ingenzi abo bantu bashakaga gukora. And all of us we want to serve God. Natwe twese dushaka gukorera Imana. He says, do you know what you are asking? Nuko Yesu aramubaza aramusubiza ati nimuzi icyo musaba. Do you know what you are asking? When we say you want to serve God, do you know what you are asking? When we are singing about a God, He is a God who listens. He is a God who sees. Lord, I want to serve. And God says, okay. The next statement. Are you able? Are you able to pay the price? We want to be great. We want to serve. And Jesus looks okay. Do you know what you're asking? He says. Do you know what you're asking? Not only that, are you able to pay the price? Many times we cry emotionally before God. Lord, I want to serve. Which is genuine prayer. To others, it is self promotion. But when you are sincere with your heart, God asks your question Are you able to pay the price? And this is one of the hardest things in life. This is where we draw back before we go to serve God. The message is this. You must make a choice first to draw backward and think twice before you make a decision. Before you recommit yourself, choose to set backward and stay backward. Why? Do you know what you are asking for? Do you know there is a price to pay? And Jesus said, Yes, indeed, you will pay the price which they did. They paid the price in the end. But he says, He gave example of the people that desires to be great. He gave example of the rulers of the Gentile world. Their greatness was in the position they had. Gukomera kwabo kwari kugendanye n'imyanya bari barimo. Do you want to show that I'm great? I am in a position of greatness. Ndashaka kwerekana ko nkomeye nkaba ndi no mu mwanya ukomeye. That was the thinking of the Romans. Uko niko abaroma batekerezaga. I want to be great. Ndashaka kuba ukomeye. My greatness is in my position. Ukomera kwanje kuri mu mwanya ndimo. And that's where in fact even Christians we ask you what makes you great. And that's the name of the world that ni ni gituma mu abakomeye. My greatness. Ukomera kwanje is in my position. Kuri mu mwanya ndimo. Who are you brother? Ese urinde mwene data. I am a bishop. 
I use that titles because that's where I in that circles. And the bishop kubera ko ibyo byerekana nyine My greatness gukomera kwanje is my position. No mwanya ndimo. Brother, mwene data. What do you do? Eso koriki. I am this you are labeled your greatness is labeled in your position and when it comes into the kingdom of god that's when we say i want to be great in the kingdom of god and somebody says what makes you great the only way to show me my greatness in the house of God is that when I become when I become then they know who I am. That is the ideas of greatness. Jesus said you are greatness is not in the position you hold you are greatness is best in the service that you do for others That change the thinking. We are saying we want to serve God, but why? I want to be known. I want to be recognized. Jesus said, "It shall not be so with you." Jesus Christ is changing the understanding of what ministry and work is. We are saying you must serve God, but why? Why? Because when we are po- when we are motivated by position is what people think about me. It is by what people look on you that motivates into service. Jesus said, not with you. Yet it shall not be among you in that he rebuked them, he told them the difference, and so we must emulate nuko arabacyaha abereka itandukaniro rero nibyo tunazwe tugomba gukurikiza because when our service is best in position kuberako niba ibyo dukora bishingiye mu mwanya turimo when you are removed from a position of service iyo noneho ukuwe muri wa mwanya wakoreragamo because position alienate you from the people once they remove you from the position of power you are disconnected when you are removed from a position and changed in a position of a leader you say ah I've been transferred. I don't feel any connection. Because you came with an attitude of service based in position. Brother, where are you? We don't see you. Oh, you know. I was removed. I was changed. That's why I'm not serving. You served because you thought serving was in position.
But our service must be based on the love. Ariko scripture dukora bigomba kuba bishingiye ku rukundo. Of the master Jesus. Gumwami wacu Yesu. Remember that woman who poured the oil, the Ibu, oil. Ibuka wa mugore wasuse amavuta. She poured everything. Yes, yasuse ibyo yarafite byose. Everything was poured on the feet of Jesus. Jose yabisutse ku birenge bya Yesu. We serve because we serve God and Christ out of love. Dukorera umwami wacu biturutse mu rukundo. We don't serve God out of position Nago, and power and authority. Ntabwo dukorera Imana bitewe n'umwanya turimo n'ubushobozi. Your greatness is not based on what you do to yourself your greatness is based on what you do for God's people nago gukomera kwa wewe bishingiye kubyo wikorera ahubwo bishingiye kubyo ukorera abandi and let me tell you my brother my sister the same woman who loved Christ kandi reka nkubwire mwene data wa mugore wakundaga Yesu she was the woman yari umugore who came first at the tomb ndi nawe waje mbere in the times of inconvenience kandi no mugiye gitari gikwiye she comes hurriedly with mary at the tomb of jesus christ ariko azana na maria ku gituro cha yesu what is our motivation in in, in serving ese twe n'iki kidusunika mu gukora position of love ese ni umwanya cyangwa no rukundo jesus presented himself in Luke he presented himself as the perfect servant. Ndetse Yesu yatwiyeretse muri Luka uburyo ari umuntu ukorera abandi. If you want to serve others then you are great. Niba ushaka gukorera abandi urakomeye. If you want to put the interests of others as the Bible says you are great. Niba ushaka gushyira inyungu z'abandi imbere nkuko Bibiliya ibitwereka urakomeye. When God becomes the center of your service you are great. Niba ibyo ukora bishingiye ku mana ibyo ukora birakomeye. It's not what people see do me do it's what God sees me do. Ntago ari ibyo abantu bambona nkora ahubwo ni ibyo imana imbona nkora. My greatness in the service of God is not through the credits of men on what I do what I seek upon everything above all is the approval of God more than the approval of men Icyo nshira hejuru y'ibindi n'ukwemerwa n'Imana aho kwemerwa n'abantu This is what Jesus was saying Ibi nibyo Yesu yavuga Why do you want to serve God Kubera iki mushaka gukorera Imana Brethren we for we ask God as leaders Bene dato turasaba Imana nk'abayobozi as preachers as evangelists as, as bishops and all that Eh nk'abavuga butumwa nk'aba bishop n'abandi because we thought greatness Kubera ko twibwiye ko gukomera is a position no mwanya and the moment we tell you to come and serve god tukubwiye ngo ngino korera imana you think it is position ukumva ko ari umwanya ugomba gushyirwamo and everyone is moved by position and not responsibility no no gasanga abantu bari rukanyira umwanya aho kureba inshingano Jesus said, "What do you ask? What are you asking?" Yesu aravuga ati, "Urashaka iki?" I want to be great. Ndashaka kuba ukomeye. They know me. Abakamenya. They know who I am. Bakamenya uwo ndiwe. Change status and position. Ngahindura uwo nari ndiwe. Some people change even them where they walk. And even in the house of God people begin to change. They begin to draw away from the people they are called to serve. Brother, where are you? That don't touch the anointed of God. Please. Please. What is going to mavuta he's not supposed to be touched on the one who is anointed should not be touched on his bible is untouchable bibiliya ye ntawe ikoraho his seat is and seated on ndetse ni ntebe ntawe icaraho please don't touch that person position 
Jesus said, hmm. He draws down to his disciples. Jesus was saying, it's not about position. It's about humility. He draws down. He touches the, the dirty feet. That did not take away his identity with God. He draws down. He sits with them. He talks to them. And let me tell you, the Bible says, because of his humility, God raised up his name above every name. Why? Because he had a heart to serve. Your greatness is not best in your position. It is best in how you serve God's people. Trust him. Why? The test of heart. That is, we always say, the heart, the heart, the heart. But why are we serving God? The heart. Every heart shall be tested. When I say, God, I want to serve, my heart will be tested. Mm. It will be tested. Are you self-seeking, self-promoting, self-glorifying? A time will come when God will take your heart and allow your heart to be tried somewhere. Somebody will step on your feet to test your pride. Somebody will test, step on you to test how you can forgive. Somebody will step on you how to know how to control conflict. Somebody will step on you to test on integrity. Every hand shall be tested. Lord, take my heart for I want to serve. And God said, bring your heart. What do you want? I want to serve. Do you know what you are asking? Are you ready to pay the price? Do you want to be great? He says your greatness is not based on your position. Ah, oh, Lord. Man. I thought serving was position. God says, you are thinking is quite different. It is all about serving. Lord, you mean to serve others other than myself? Jesus said yes. I came to serve other than to be served. Because when you serve others, when you do the least to the least of my brothers and sisters, you are doing unto me. How can we do it? It's by allowing the Spirit of God to break our pride. It is allowing the Holy Spirit to search our motives into service. It is trusting Him. When you see in the book of Luke, 
They were quarreling among themselves. Who should be great? This is the human problem in the heart of man. Seeking greatness. And when Jesus Christ told them the story about James and all that, they were jealousy. Don't be jealousy. If God says something to somebody, you have your own portion. Take a step backward and think, contemplate what you're going to do. Because a test of attitude and emotions and intentions will be tested. There is a price that you must pay. But praise God. When we set Jesus Christ as our example. He says, do this. Not by your power. But by my spirit. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. We want to be great. We want to be known. We want to serve that then we may be known that we may have the applause of men but today you are challenging us today. Why are you serving? Why do you want to serve? Because every heart will be tested. Jesus, you said, are you ready to pay the price? Do you know what you're asking? Are you ready to submit to my authority? Are It's not about us. It's about him. Only Lord God. You can enable us to break the spirit of pride. You can only search our hearts. Our intentions of heart. Why we want to serve. Bless us this morning. If there is anybody here, oh God. Want to surrender everything to you again. In the service of your mighty God. Because you test the intentions and the motives. I know there are people who desire to serve in a genuine way. But there are some who are motivated by other things. Even those, oh God, may you turn and purify their motives. Purify your mind. Purify your motives. Purify as we serve you, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen.